The first feature I would like to introduce is the, the edit shape geometry feature, which um, allows the users to uh, modify the geometry of existing shapes in the shape catalogs. And even though I'm going to use a casting place example, this can be used for any type of material or any kind of object. So as long as it becomes a shape in the shape catalog, then you're fine. The custom place example that we believe this has a lot of potential to solve is those um, that involve uh, garage uh, or parking lot type uh, slabs where there's uh, there's different points that that drain onto onto a hole in the middle with different uh, elevation points. Usually these slabs are um, modeled as a separate uh, triangular triangular uh, slabs. Uh, put flush next to each other um, to form the, the the slope. This way of working is not ideal uh, for several reasons. Um, one of them is that um, usually when if you're if you're counting parts in your quantity takeoff, it's um, you need to to add all these parts together to form to form uh, the correct volumes. For example, another reason is that um, it's difficult to put these parts uh, flush next to each other correctly. And there might be gaps or overlaps, which which in, in introduce uh, further complications when you do other kinds of operations, such as, for example, cuts and pour breaks. Um, lastly, it's also a bit inconvenient to have uh, four different parts uh, modeling one single slab. Imagine that you want to move the the drainage point point in the middle some distance to the side. You would have to change the handles of all four four different slabs. So just to move ahead onto the onto my demo video, here I have just uh, one of those structures that I have been describing. If we zoom in, that's the location where I'm going to uh, add the sloping slab. I'm going to use a drawing as a guide. You can see that in the drawing, it's uh, defining all the elevation points of the slab. Some of them uh, are elevated and some of them are lower down. So the first step is to have a, a native part. In this case, I'm just going to change the name uh, uh, to topping slab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, execute this new command called create shape from a geometry. If you already have the shapes, you don't need this step. But now a topping slab shape has been created into the shape catalog. I'm just going to delete this native part that I used. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to go to my shape catalog select the topping slab shape that has been created and insert it into, into the model in the same location. Now uh, what I'm going uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check all the properties. Uh, they can be changed as usual uh, with any item so you can change the class or, or, the, or the material. And there's this new edit geometry command. When triggered it gives you the ability to add edges. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm adding an edge here in the middle. All the old, uh, the typical snapping uh, commands work in the same way. So I'm just, I'm going to finish creating the diagonal edges of the slab and proceed to to elevate or or lower down uh, the necessary uh, vertices. I'm going to start uh, from the middle. You can see that now I have. Uh, vertices and edges visible using, uh, for direct manip uh, for them to be directly manipulated. I'm going to use the drawing as a snapping uh, tool to snap to the correct location on the x and y direction. I'm going to use direct manipulation to lower the corner vertex. vertex. And I'm going to use numerical input to be more accurate and lower down the point in the middle by 3 inches. So either direct manipulation or numerical input are, are can be used. So now I'm going to start uh, showing another possibility, which is to drag faces. And, and you, I'm sure that a lot of you are familiar from this functionality that is available for normal DM modification of normal TS parts. And it's also available here. But that was just for show. So I'm just going to go and undo and um, I will settle for this slab. I go and save this new shape and I want to give it a new name. I'm going to call it sloping slab. And I'm going to save, press save, which saves it into the shape catalog. With it. Just to demonstrate that, I'm going to delete this item and I'm going to go on again onto the shape catalog, select the sloping slab that I created and reuse that to insert it into the model. 
So these, these are the basic basics. You have a shape. You can create a shape from native or, or have an already existing shape. And then you just go and edit it uh, a bit how, how SketchUp edits, edits geometry. So now uh, we hope that uh, this makes it simple to create slabs that are just one single object, but also to, to do further modifications on, on those points that need, uh, that need moving, for example.